Well, good afternoon, Boone's Creek Bible Church family, and thanks for allowing me to just drop in on you for a little bit here this afternoon. Uh, I hope it's been a great day. I hope you have seen God answer prayer and you're looking forward to uh, gathering tonight in your small groups, uh, whether you met last night or you're going to meet tomorrow night. Uh, again, I beg you, for the sake of building up the body, to encourage one another, to pray with one another, these gatherings are in fulfillment of what God has called us to do in discipleship and to build up one another in our most holy faith. And so I hope that you will participate. You need to just go on Realm and you can see on the small groups what group you're in and call your leader and say, how do I get there? How do I connect my Zoom? And uh, we can do anything we ought to do. We do what we want to do. And I hope that tonight you will truly get involved uh, in the study of 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 to 27. Also, ladies, can I encourage you to indeed uh, pray about going to Ladies Prayer Advance? All the information is on Realm. We sent it out this week. You can click on the link or you can just go to Christlife dot, or Christlifemen, M-I-N dot org and go to the Advance uh, tab and click on that and go to Ladies Prayer Advance and find out about it. Uh, please pray about it. Uh, you know, uh, I beg you to not just go, oh, no, I, 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 I can't afford that, or I don't, I don't know if I can get off, whatever. Those are all things that we're saying, I'm going to, I can't do or can do looking at it from a human viewpoint. Um, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Would you at least pray about it? And uh, so just to challenge you. Because ladies, I know you want to grow in the, in, in the faith. You want to be a godly lady. You want to be a godly wife, uh, a godly mom, um, a godly grandmother. And it is good for you to come apart. I, I want to just say, this came to my mind, that a situation occurred today where uh, a couple of brethren uh, out of state called me and, and they needed encouragement. And so later on in the day, I was listening to a podcast and because of being at men's prayer advance together last uh, weekend, there was that common bond that we had in reference to this podcast. And I was able to send it to them and to be able to encourage them. And so uh, I, I want to just say that when you go away, not only do you get closer to the Lord, but you get closer to your, your, your family, your, your, your eternal family. And it's always, you're always glad you go. So uh, don't bail out on the front end of it. Let's pray about it and trust the Lord. So just quickly, I want to just share with you uh, how important it is to be in the Word every day. Uh, it is amazing that this passage that God uh, had for me to read today as a part of my Bible reading, I've used it personally. I've been able to pray this passage with other folks. It was It's something that God has just given to me today to be able to minister my own heart, but minister to others. And that's one of the things that uh, if you're going to disciple others, you got to have something to say. And every day in the word, God gives you something. And it may not necessarily be for you, but it may be God wanting to prepare you to minister to someone else. And it's uh, Philippians chapter one. Let me share it with you just uh, for a moment here. He says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to mention the contents of his prayer. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and in all discernment that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. One of the things I draw out of this is what a way to pray. I don't hear Paul saying, Lord, bless the church at Philippi. I don't hear him say, Lord, be with the church at Philippi. I don't hear him say, Help them to have a good day. 
He's very specific, and, he, and he's very pointed in a biblical fashion. He says, I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Oh, what, what, uh, what a thing to pray for your spouse. Uh, a husband praying for his wife and said, Lord, help my wife that your love would abound in her heart. The more she comes to know you, the more she comes to know your love for her, and the more that she comes to know how to love others through Christ in her, and that that love also brings about a discerning spirit that she can be able to, as he goes on to say, approve things that are excellent. And then he says that you may be sincere without offense. I would love for you to pray this for me. Lord, help our pastor to be sincere, filled with the word, and he would be without offense. Because I'll tell you, I, I, I'm gung-ho all the time about things, and I can come across a little harsh sometimes. I can be a little pushy. And you need to be praying that I will not be offensive. I'll give the truth, but that I will not be offensive till the day of Christ and be filled with the fruits of righteousness that are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. So let me just encourage you, pray scripture, and uh, let's keep pressing on in these last days. I love you. I appreciate you. And you know, every day, the word of God is good, fresh manna for our hearts, our souls, and to be used of the Lord to disciple others. So have a good evening. Love you.